What's going on, Patrick? How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. I, I won't ask if it's the Custer Cab, so you don't have to say, no, this is Patrick. <laughs> no worries. The, the phone thing has taken on a life of its own. I know it started, obviously, when you got here. Are you surprised at how much that has kind of become a uh, a thing with the fan base? Honestly, yeah. Um, I never really thought about it in terms of it becoming a thing with the fans, but I love it. I know it gauges everybody, and it's something I like to do. So as long as it's making everybody happy, I'll continue doing it. What kind of impact has Dean had on you and the evolution of your game? Yeah, he has a he has, he's had a big impact. You know, um, he he believes in me and he wants me to just keep working. He gives me the right advice and just um tells me the right things. And I'm just trying to execute as much as possible. But um, all I'm doing is trying to learn as much. You know, he's he's a experienced coach and he knows a lot. So I just want to take as much information from him and apply it to my game. So yeah, he's been good. And one follow up I have um, with you and Enzo kind of being the lone guys up there as a striker. Is it enough motivation for you to say, hey, you know, I come on at the hour mark or the 65th minute, or do you still have that hunger to, you know, crack the starting lineup on any given day and things of that nature in terms of trying to get to that point where you are the person who's called on from the start? Yeah, I think it's just whatever um, I could do to help the team. I'm just going to keep working, you know. I'm going to keep um, applying myself and – Whatever's best, whether it's me starting or whether it's me coming off the bench, it's just me um, taking advantage of every opportunity and just providing myself for for the team. Thanks, pal. Good luck this season. Thank you. Okay. Or hey, then Nick. Hey, Patrick. How are you? Good. How you doing? Good. Good. I want to ask you, uh, fitness wise, how are you guys feeling this season? Just heading into the that first match. Um, on the 24th, I mean, you're coming off of two really good wins. Um, just talk to me about this preseason so far. Yeah, I mean, preseason is always tough. It's the it's the hardest part, I feel like, in the year just because you're coming in and you're, you want to be fit. You want to play. So um, it's been hard, but, I mean, it's good. I think the boys are feeling well. I'm feeling well. Um, we're really excited and really amped for the first game of the season. We're just taking each day by day and the scrimmage is day by day. But, I mean, we're doing well, so just going to keep going. Nice. And then in a recent interview, um, Philadelphia coach Jim Curtin said that this is the strongest he's seen. Uh, he's ever seen the Eastern Conference. I wanted to, you to uh, I wanted to get maybe the sense from you of this conference and how you see Charlotte FC stacking up. I mean, we've got MLS Cup champs in this conference, the Shield winners. Yeah, um, we're here to compete. You know, we're going to we're going to compete for every game. And we want to be one of the best teams in the conference. So we're going to do whatever it takes to be so and just work hard for it. You know, um, obviously, we have a lot of good teams in this in this conference. And that's that's a given and it's known. But we're going to apply ourselves to be one of them as well. Awesome. Thank you. Good luck this season. Thank you. OK, Nick Finale. Hey, good afternoon, Patrick. How are you doing? Hey, good. How are you doing? So I wanted to ask you, so Enzo was talking about him having conversations with you and talking about the competition. Can you talk a little bit about those kind of things that you all talk about and just how you're feeling about the competition? Yeah, I honestly love it. Um, I He gives me a lot of advice, to be fair, when it comes to positioning and just like working hard on and off the field and off the, um, the ball especially. So I ask him questions in terms of what he would do in the situation and he would just help me out or um, we just talk about whatever we see is right. And it's good. It's a good, friendly competition. I think we both want to play and we both want to score goals, and that's what you want in your team. So we're just pretty much pushing each other each and every day, but I love it. Cool. And then secondly, I wanted to talk about what part of your game will we see highlighted this season that we may not have seen last season? Um, I want to be a threat. I want to be a, a, a main threat going in behind, and I think I'm going to be a little bit more comfortable, um, especially – this is my second year um, playing professional soccer, so I, I'm more used to it than I was last year. And I think I'm going to have more, um, be more comfortable on the ball um, and doing things that you guys probably haven't seen much. So hopefully I get to show it. Cool. Thanks, Patrick. Thank you. Uh, great. Uh, let's go to, um, let's go to Bridget and then we'll go to Steve. Hi, Patrick. How are you? Hi, good. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. 
So last year we noticed that frequently you got calls against you and we feel like it was based on your stature, your height. <laughs> um, how did you deal with that? How do you, how does that personally affect you and how do you overcome that? It's frustrating. It is frustrating. Um, I know some calls that I get called against me that I probably wouldn't be called against any other players. Um, but I mean, it's just, I can't control it, you know, and it's just me going to the next play. I think, I need to realize that and not dwell too much on those situations, whether I think it's a foul or not, or whether I think I'm getting fouled or not. At the end of the day, they have the call, so I can't really control too much. I just need to focus on what I can control. So, yeah, I've been working on that, um, and hopefully they help me out a little bit. But if not, then I just deal with it. Great. And now that Carol has gone on loan, what? how do you see that for your opportunities now with the first team? Yeah, yeah. Um, it, obviously, we we were the strikers here, me and Zone Carroll, and he going to um, Serie A, it, it obviously opens up an opportunity for me, um, and I wish him the best, you know. But it's just me trying to just take advantage as much as possible and just um, get game time and really try to help the team. I think that's the main thing I want to do is just help the team as much as possible and show what I can do and show that I can play in this league. So, yeah. Well, last year, every time you came in, you scored for us. So we <laughs> hope that you still have that luck this year as well. Um, one more thing. So Scotty was playing his guitar. And um, are you part of that gang now, the band? Um, If they need a backup singer, I'm here. Um, I could <laughs> I could show a little vocals, you know. <laughs> crazy, I saw you yeah. in the background. I'm coming along. So we know you got yeah. it. <laughs> Hopefully he invites me, you know. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll talk to him. Okay. Well, thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, Steve Goldberg. Hey, Patrick. Um, you know, Enzo's the energizer bunny up there um, with the, you know, is putting the high press on it and pressure there. What do you think of the the opportunities to play together up there with his pace and, you know, kind of water bug, you know, uh, pressure and your length being able to block, you know, you know, you can match up with any center back. And winning the ball, you know, in their third, uh, how do you like that? Yeah, um, it would be cool. I think we played a couple times last year together. Not as much, obviously, but um, yeah, you never know. Like I, I would, I enjoy playing with him, and I think it would be a good uh, duo up front if we play together. But you never know. You know, if if the opportunity comes, then hopefully it does. Then we'll take advantage. But if not, then can't really say too much. Yeah, you because know, I mean you're similar, like with Daniel Rios, and you know having the height to knock balls down to you know Enzo or midfielders coming through on something like that. Is that something you all have worked on in practice? In terms of what knocking the ball down? No, uh, you and Enzo oh, playing together. Front. Yeah. Uh here and there, you know, we train together. Um, I know what he likes to do on the ball and off the ball. I, I think he knows what I like to do as well. So. We do have we do understand each other's game, uh, and it's just whether or not uh, it comes to pass. So yeah, great, thank you, thank you. Have fun. Cool. Um, all right, guys. I don't see any more hands. Um, so final call here. Uh, if anyone has a final question for Patrick before we wrap up, how's that spy game going? <laughs> hey, question I was gonna. Hey, it's good. It's good. It's a it's a great game. It's a great game. Um, definitely team bonding. A lot of um cheaps out here, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. Have a good one. Good luck. Thank you. All right, we're up, yeah. up there, guys. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick.